Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Circles Project. My name is Kristen Shamanic, and I'm a respiratory therapist here at the COPD Foundation. And today we're going to talk a little bit more about the Circles Workbook and the game board that you received in your Fit Kits. So first up, we're going to talk about the workbook. Now, this is an interactive booklet. It's really not meant to be just something you read through. We really want you to work with it um, and do the activities in it because it's going to help you to really manage your COPD more effectively. And that's the main goal of this program. So this booklet contains information on a variety of COPD related topics. So there is something for everyone here, whether you're newly diagnosed and you're kind of new to this whole process of managing COPD, or if you've had COPD for years, either way, there's something here for you. We cover everything from exercise to nutrition, to medications, to uh, mental health and coping, to advanced directives. Uh, there really is something for everyone here. Um, and this is designed also to be a reference booklet. So once you're done with the program and you've filled out all the activities and you've worked with it for a while, hang on to it, put it aside, maybe put it in your bookshelf, and then it could be months later or a year later. If something's changed in your uh, medications, let's say, or your activity level has changed and you want to revisit some of those topics, we want you to be able to take that book out of your shelf and go ahead and look through it one more time. So really, it's supposed to be something that's evergreen and that will last uh, the test of time to really help you to manage your COPD as you move through your journey. Each section uh, is interactive, so there's going to be activities sprinkled throughout the booklet. Um, these are sections that you're going to fill out either with your healthcare team uh, during your pulmonary rehab visits, or you can do it on your own. Um, and you can certainly do it with your uh, physician or healthcare team as well. And this booklet also has information uh, that's really important for your family as well. You're going to want to make sure that they're aware of the different medications you take and safety tips for oxygen use and things like that that really will be important for them to know in case for any reason you need some extra help. Let's take a quick look inside the Circles workbook so you can see what a, an average page layout looks like and sort of how to use it. So here you're going to see the medication section um, and you'll notice that there's bars on either side on either side of the page that have colors like one is orange and one is blue. Those are color coded sections. So as you flip through the book, it'll be easier for you to kind of keep track of where you are by looking at those color coded sections. Um, it also makes it easier for you to sort of flip through and find what you're looking for. And of course, we do have a table of contents as well. So if you're looking for a specific topic and you don't want to flip through the whole book, you can certainly look there and find the page number for the topic you're interested in. So each section includes a question and answer portion, and you'll see that here on the right hand side of the page, page eight. At the top, it says time to check in. You're going to see that for every section in the book. And what this is, is a section where we're going to have you write down some questions for your healthcare team. Because again, we want to really encourage communication between you and your team. We want to make sure you're asking the right questions and getting the answers you really need um, for the topics that you're interested in that are important to you. So for example, here we're asking, what questions do you have about your medications? Do you want to know how long it will take to start feeling better when you start taking a new medication? Or do you want to know about side effects? What kind of questions do you have about your medications? I mean, I know when I take a new medication, I have lots of questions, so I'm sure you guys are the same. So this is where you're going to want to write down those questions so that you can remember them, of course, when you go in to see your doctor or to see your healthcare team, because uh, we want to make sure that you're not forgetting to ask those questions that are important to you. You'll also see that there's different activities in each section. So in this particular section, the medication section, you'll see on the left hand side, there's a chart here. Um, and this is sort of a mini wallet card where you can write down your medication name, the dose that you take, whether it's you know, two puffs or one pill or whatever it might be, how often you take it. And the success column is actually for your healthcare team. And what they're going to do is watch you demonstrate your inhaler or your nebulizer or whatever your medication might be and make sure you're using it correctly. Because what happens is a lot of times we get these medications and we're not really, no one explains to us how to use them. So you're given this inhaler and you're looking inside the box for the directions and you're sort of trying to figure it out and you may not be doing it exactly right. And if you're not doing it exactly right, you're not getting all of that uh, medication that you need. It may not be going to the right place. It may not be going deep enough into your lungs. So it's good to have someone kind of keep an eye and make sure that you're doing it well. And if you need any adjustments, they can help you with that. 
So that's where the success column comes in. They'll check you off, put a little check mark there to say, yes, we've talked about this medication. You know how to use it correctly uh, and you're doing really well. So that's your success column. Um, and you also have some helpful tips in here. You'll notice that on these pages, there are some pieces of information, little paragraphs that are in pop out boxes or diamonds or rectangles. Those are really important sort of side notes that we want you to keep in mind. So for example, the first one says here, if you're having trouble affording or accessing your medications, talk with your healthcare team, and it gives you some information about discount programs and other resources that can help you. So that's something you're gonna to wanna to really keep in mind. Um, you'll also notice at the bottom, we talk about our COPD Foundation website that has videos that show you how to use your inhalers so that if you have a new inhaler and you're not sure how to use it and maybe you don't have an appointment coming up, you know, with your healthcare team, you can watch our video and it shows you um, a good demonstration on the proper way to use it. So those are some things you can look for throughout the booklet. Here's another page layout here, um, and this one covers medication delivery devices like dry powder inhalers and soft mist inhalers and things like that. You'll see at the top you have that time to check in again for questions for your healthcare team. We always have that included because that's a really important piece of uh, learning how to manage your COPD. We want to make sure that you're having good communication, getting those answers that you need. And you'll also see again we have those important pieces of information that are in those pop-out boxes. So for here in the dry powder inhaler one, this is one of the most important pieces if you're using dry powder inhalers, is to keep your dry powder inhaler in a cool, dry place. So that is not your bathroom, unfortunately, because a lot of us like to take our inhalers at the same time we brush our teeth. It's just an easy way to remember that you take it twice a day and you uh, brush your teeth twice a day for some medications, not all, of course. Um, but that's not the best place to carry a to store a powder inhaler because the powder can get clumped up with that humidity from the shower. So that's something that's really important. So when you're looking through the booklet, when you see those pop out boxes, really take a good look at those because that's going to give you some really helpful information. Now, something else we wanted to talk about today is the game board and the COPD pocket consultant guide app. So for those of you who don't know, uh, the COPD Foundation has their own app. It's called the COPD Pocket Consultant Guide app. And what it is, is a, an app that really gives you a lot of information about managing your COPD. So as you can see here on the right side, this is what it looks like. It's absolutely free and it's available for download at the App Store for Apple or the Google Play Store. So depending on what kind of phone you have, you would go to one of those two places. Um, and if you don't have a smartphone, it's not a problem. You don't have to have a smartphone to participate in circles. This is just an additional piece for those folks who really like to have that technology and have a, a cell phone and a smartphone and they want to use apps. But you certainly do not have to. Um, many of our um, participants don't want to use a smartphone app or don't have access to it. And that's absolutely fine. This is just sort of an extra bonus piece. So let's say you do want to join uh, or actually you do want to download this pocket consultant guide app. If you decide to do that, the game board is going to help you to navigate your way through the app, because as you can see on this right hand side, the where you can see a picture of the app, there's a lot of information here. There's a section on the action plan. There's a section on calendars and inhaler videos and exercise videos. There's just tons of information in one place. So in order to sort of move through the app and really get the full benefit, we made a game board. And we're gonna look at this a little bit more closely. Let's zoom in a little bit. So here's the top of the game board. Now you'll see here the directions say to use the game board to help you discover how to use the Pocket Consultant Guide app. So you're gonna just follow the arrows clockwise and become familiar with those different tools. So first you're gonna start on the right side in orange, it says start here on this little button sort of looks like a stepping stone. You can either just follow along on your own, or if you really want to use it as a game, you could put a little penny on that marker, or you could put, you know, a button or something, or you could even just check it off with a pencil if you'd like to. But here in the first section where it says start here, you're going to set some COPD goals. And first you're going to watch a goal setting video. Um, and that's going to explain a little bit more about how to make a goal for yourself, how to set sort of small measurable goals, you know, ones that are easy to meet so that you can work your way up to a bigger goal. But here, first, we just want you to identify some things that are really important to you. What are some goals that you have for yourself? Maybe it's something as simple as, you know, I want to be able to go walk and get the mail without being short of breath. Or maybe it's something a little bit broader. Maybe it's, I want to be able to walk a loop around my neighborhood or whatever it might be. It could be 
any number of things. It depends on what's important to you because a goal I would set for myself isn't going to be the same as a goal you'd set for yourself. So we want to make sure that your goals are important to you. Um, it certainly doesn't help if I give you a goal that doesn't mean anything to you. You want to really do something that you enjoy. So think about some goals after you watch that video and uh, write them down here on these lines. And as you move through the COPD, uh, the I'm sorry, the circles program, you'll be able to get closer to meeting those goals. And as you meet them, you can cross them off and see how far you've come. So let's look a little bit deeper to the bottom side of the game board so you can get an idea of what we're what we're looking at here. It's kind of hard to see in the whole form, so that's why I split it up into two sections. Um, so here, let's say you're moving through the game board and you're down here on the uh, yellow circle where it says daily log exercise and activity. So there's four different activities here in this section. So you're gonna look down to the yellow box at the bottom where it says exercise and activity. It corresponds to that circle. It's the same color and it's got the same uh, writing on it the same text and you're going to go through each one. So step one is to fill out the activity tracker on the app if you're using the app. And number two, once you finish that, go on to number two, think about how you can be more active. You know, how can you add a little bit of activity to your day? And then number three, how can activity help you reach your COPD goals? Kind of think about that question for a little bit and think about how this really could make a difference in your life. And then the fourth one before you move on to the next circle is to watch the exercise video on the app. So this just gives you an idea of how to find things in the app and how to really use the app to your advantage. Um, if you'd rather not use the app, but you do want to play with the game board a little bit, you can certainly do that. You would just skip over uh, the pieces that require the smartphone app, um, but you could still participate in some of the activities. Like for example, um, on the left side where it's the blue circle, you could talk to your rehab team about how to use your medications correctly. That's something you can do whether you have a smartphone or not. You could also fill out the wallet card. This says on the app, but there's also one in your workbook. Uh, there's that chart and there's also a wallet card. So there's corresponding pieces in the workbook too. Um, you don't have to just use the technology piece. So this is helpful really for anyone, but especially for those who wanna use the app. The last piece that's really important in your fit kit is the circles participant feedback survey. So this survey, it's a little survey card and it's prepaid. So there is no postage necessary. There is no cost to you to fill this out. We would like you once you're finished with the program and you've worked with these materials for a few months, we want you to fill out this card and go ahead and drop it in the mail. No postage, you don't need a stamp and it comes right to us. And what we'll do is we're gonna look at these questions and it is anonymous so we don't know who who said what um, but it gives us an idea of what we're doing well and what we need to improve on and that's really important to us because we want to make sure that we're creating programs that are helpful to people and um, we want to know what we're doing well and what we can improve on so we want to see all of those important you know, pieces of information that you want to share with us. So for example, how helpful were the circles tools? Which ones were the most important or most helpful to you? Um, how has your management of your COPD changed since doing this program? These are the things we want to know so that we can improve in the future. So in conclusion then, we are all finished with this video, but there's many more to come. So be sure to check out our others. Um, and in the meantime, if you'd like to learn more about COPD and download some tools to help you manage your condition, you can do that at our website, which is here at this link. You're gonna to wanna to write that down um, and head over to our website and you can download materials for free, including a second copy of the um, My COPD Action Plan because you may want to you know, update that over time. Uh, and you can download it for free for your own personal use. So I hope you check that out. Thanks very much.